Wow, okay. That scared the hell out of me. So we got a Crier Bell on Medium Clue 353. Do you, do you ring it? Okay, that does not look like I'm ringing it. It looks like I'm like an angry old grandma, like banging on a door, like, turn the music down, you virgin. Oh, damn! That is a beautiful clue. We got an Ancient Cloak, a Zamorak Cloak, and Green, green Dehyde Chaps, Chaps T. That is a, that's a tongue twister. Green Dehyde Chaps T. There we go. That is a beautiful clue. Not that I need any of this, but it looks nice. Oh, that is hype! A penguin mask? Oh, shit, yeah. I mean, that doesn't even look like a penguin, but I like it. So I've been on this island for four days. They have no idea that I'm not a penguin. Now's the time. We got ourselves a Arceus banner. Not bad. That is a new one, so let me see what that one looks like. The recent one I got was literally okay. It's too tall. Uh, nah, this one looks alright. I definitely prefer the fruit one, though. Alright, we've got ourselves a Zamorak page. As per usual, I'm not gonna look at what it is. We're gonna go to the bank, uh, and just pray to God this is the one. I think we're up to, what is that? Uh, 17 Zamorak pages, and I still haven't completed the book, so here goes nothing. <clears throat> and we got ourselves a Piscarillius banner on medium clue number 360. I know for a fact that I do have one of these, but this one reminds me of the Firefox logo. I think it's actually a fish, but uh, nah, copyright that shit, it's Firefox. Whoa, two honorable blessings in one clue? I mean, I just got one of those last episode, but two blessings in one clue, that just looks really fucking cool. I like that. Alright, we got a master clue coming in on medium clue number 378. A great way to start today's video. Uh, last video, we got ourselves a ring of coins, so hopefully we can one-up that reward with this one. Alright, we got the Master Clue Casket. That was really, really fast. Unfortunately, I couldn't check, but I think that was only six steps, which is the minimum. Probably took me, like, 15 minutes total, so I got a bad feeling. Fast Master equals bad reward. I knew it. That's actually a really good reward, like, value-wise, but nah, nothing rare. But overall, lots of good supplies, so I will take it. Back to the mediums. Medium clue number 380. We've got two miters in one clue. Uh, I don't know if these are duplicates or not, so let's go ahead and take a look. I was really hoping that by the end of this ranger boot grind, I'd be able to put one full robe set in the bank, but... Looks like not, because those are both duplicates. Oh, that's another banner that we don't have. There is the Shazian banner on medium clue number 389. Let's see how it looks. That's pretty badass. I think the Hosidius is still my favorite. I like the fruit one. That is cool, though. All right, this is medium clue scroll number 400. So a big milestone coming in. Uh, my viewers have told me... It's called the Clueless Clue or something. I think I get it on my 400th fourth fourth medium clue. I'm just going to open it and see if they were lying to me. Uh, okay, they were correct. Clueless Scroll. I didn't get Rangers, by the way, but uh, I think it's a wieldable clue scroll, right? Oh, that's so cool. That's actually awesome fashion scape. I love that. So, 400 medium clues. No range of boots, but at least I get some, uh, some cool fashion scape out of my effort. So, the day of me recording this is December 14th. I guess for Christmas, they put a Santa hat on the pet Kraken. I'm gonna take mine out to confirm. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that's super freaking cute. I think they also added something to the pet rocks. Let me get my pet rock quick. Oh god, you don't even have to drop it. 
The pet rock is just straight up. Wow, let me see this. That is awesome. They put the multicolor pet rock or the multicolor party head on the rock. Jagex, you really be doing the most. Merry Christmas, goddammit. No! God damn it! No, no, oh, I'm so angry. Oh, I'm gonna contain myself. I'm gonna Oh, I'm not gonna contain myself. God! <clears throat> Deep breaths. There is Wizard Boots number two on medium clue number four hundred and eight. Uh, this was a long time ago, like 20 episodes ago, but, uh, I got wizard boots a really long time ago. So this is my second pair of wizard boots in 408 medium clues. No holy sandals. No ranger boots. <clears throat> I don't want to do this anymore. Alright, we got a cat mask, Emily, and a master clue on medium clue scroll number 410. The cat mask is meh, it doesn't look anything like a cat in my opinion, but that's okay. Let's go do the master clue scroll. Flap at the death altar. Equip a death tiara, a legend's cape, and a ring of wealth. Now, this is not an issue assuming that I have a death talisman. If I don't, I'm gonna have to go kill dark beasts and it's kind of rare, so... Uh, <laughs> oh god, I hope I have one. Ha! I have three of them! Perfect! Alright, this will be an easy clue. Oh no, I know what this is. Green is my favorite. Mature ale I do love. This takes your herb lore above. So, I need to brew and mature an ale, and I think it literally can take up to seven days to mature. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Well, I'm not going to drop the master because this is obviously very doable. It just takes forever. So I'm going to look up how brewing works and we're going to figure this out. Okay, so when making a mature ale, you can add this stuff to the brewing process called... Well, literally, the stuff. That's the name. And it greatly in increases the chance to uh, make it mature. So, did a quick game of Trouble Brewing. Got 108 pieces of 8. So, thanks to all the people here that helped me. Um, I think that should be enough to buy a couple of them, right? Yep. So, I'm going to make two separate sets of green ale. I'm going to put the stuff in both of them, and hopefully at least one of them will- Alright, so overnight, it looks like my barley successfully grew, so now I'm going to look up the rest of what I need to brew this Greenman's Ale, and God, I'm getting a lot of barley! Alright, so we've got concoction number one in the fermenting vat. Uh, you can brew things in Keldegrim and in the uh, Port Phasmatis area, so I'm going to fill both of them. Um... It takes two to five days to brew. Now, luckily for me, I'm going to Texas for four days tomorrow morning. So, conveniently enough, when I get back from my trip, both of them should be done. So, fingers crossed, at least one of them turns mature. Oh! Yes, I got him! Oh my god! First clue of the day, baby! You have got to be kidding! 413 medium clues, no holy sandals, two wizard boots, one pair of rangers, we are finally done after over 400 mediums. Oh god, this is so relieving. You have no idea how relieving this is. Oh, I can't even believe we just got them. Let's put them on. Oh, baby. There they are. There are the ranger boots. That was a serious grind. It took us, I think we started at 205 mediums when I got the Pagasian. So I think it took me about 208, unless my math is incorrect, but I think it took me 208 medium clues since I got the Pagasian crystal, but there they are. So uh, let's go ahead and make those Pagasian boots. So as far as I know, you just need a chisel and then you can use the Pagasian crystal on them. Are you sure you wish to infuse the Ranger Boots and Pagasian Crystal to create Pagasian Boots? This cannot be reversed. You're damn right I want to. And there we go, my friends. There are the best Range Boots in the game. The real question is, is where do we go from here? So the answer to that question is more Slayer. 
Um, we just got the Pagasian boots done, so we now have Eternal boots and Pagasian boots. But we're still missing the most useful. We're still missing Primordial boots, so... Honestly, my plan is to just keep on doing Slayer until I get those damn Primordial boots from Cerberus. So, Duradel, what do you got for me? Trolls, that's a good task, I won't skip it. Just got level 82 Prayer. Um, as far as I am aware, almost that entire level came from auto-burying bones with a bone crusher, so that's pretty crazy considering you don't get very much XP from burying, but uh, there's level 82 prayer, and we just finished the Suqua task as well, so perfect timing. 139 smoke devils. I will do that. Um, so far, I have the occult necklace, which is the drop that I wanted, but I still don't have the smoke battle staff, so just for completion's sake, we'll do the task. Hey, we got a Colt Necklace number two coming in on Thermonuclear Smoke Devil Kill Count 217, so not the drop I was hunting for, but uh, it is a duplicate. I guess I haven't really shown you guys the method I'm doing yet. I was going to record it, but I guess I may as well do it now. I'm doing the Mage Safe Spot method, so basically what you do is, is you barrage it, and you can then put your trident on long range, and you can stand out of his attack distance. So, the Trident has one longer attack space than he does, so you can just barrage him and say spot him. So, that's what I've been doing for this task, but anyways, there's the Occult Necklace. Hey, there we go. I was coming up on that level. We just got level 94 magic. Here, the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil. Now, if you're unfamiliar, that is a massive level. Not only do you unlock Ice Barrage, but you also unlock Vengeance from the Lunar Spellbook, so... There we go, there is level 94 magic, a level I've been coming up on a long time, and uh, that's awesome. We can now cast two of the highest level spells in the game. And uh, let's see, we got... <clears throat> oh god, put the helm back on, we got 27 left. Oh boy. Uh, 198 aviancies. Now, this is interesting because... I unlocked aviancies with the hope of doing some armadillo and... Well, there they are. Um, <laughs> okay, that's pretty exciting. The problem is, is I do want to use chins at Aviancy's, and I really don't want to catch chins, but uh, the grind begins. Anyways, um, today is actually the day I just got back from my trip to Texas. I think I mentioned it in a previous clip, and when I left, I put my Greenman's Ale, and uh, now that I'm back, hopefully they will be mature, and we can move on with our master, so let's go check. So, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to tell if it's mature or not. Um, it is! This vat is filled with mature Greenman's Ale. Okay, so perfect. One and done. I think I just use a beer glass on here. No? Okay, I did that. It's empty? Oh god, do I turn the valve? If I empty this or some shit, I'm gonna go crazy. Uh... Did I do that right? Oh, I did. There we go. Greenman's Ale Mature. Can I get two glasses out of this for, like, future clues? Oh, I can. Perfect. Now, I'm not sure if he's actually going to drink the ale or if I just have to give it to him. If you drink it, I swear to God. Oh, that's what I thought. No free drinks here, buddy. No way did I just get the Armadillo Helm clue. Right after getting assigned Aviancy's. I get the Armadillo Helm clue. This is like fate. Oh, God. Fuck. Well, now I have no choice but to do my or my, or my Armadillo task. <laughs> so we're on step number seven. And we need to get an Armadillo Helmet from Phalo. Coincidentally enough, have an Armadillo task. So, uh, let's get to it. With that, I think I should have enough chins to have 500 in the bank. Now, obviously, 500 isn't going to last me very long if you ever chinned Armadillo before, but I'm not sure exactly how many chins I'm going to need. So, I started with 500, and we're going to see how many we use per trip. Uh, obviously, hunting chins is really shitty, so I'm going to try to keep it minimal, but uh, all right, let's get started on our first Armadillo trip. Alright, this is going to be my last kill of the trip. Let's go ahead and take a look how many kills I got. Let's, let's count them up real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I got 8 kills in one trip and used about 
250 chin chompas. Now, let me pull out my handy dandy Harvard calculator. 250 chins divided by 8 kills, so approximately 31 chins per kill. Not too shabby. A rune sword. God damn it. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up getting... I don't know if I've gotten a rune sword from Zamrak, but... I know I've gotten multiple from Bandos and Sarah, so... Well, I guess that completes my Rune Sword set from every boss. That sucks. I kind of did a, a trip for shits and gigs. I, um, I used Manta Rays and no chins. And uh, let me say, terrible idea. I don't even know if I'm going to get a two-kill trip and I get a Rune Sword. Like, hey, there we go. Just got level 86 Hunter. So last episode, I got a Hunter level by catching Eclectics. And now I get a Hunter level by catching Black Jinjabas. Um, I actually just finished a couple of trips of Armadil. I think I have 44 Aviancies left, so... According to my calculations, I need to catch about 350 more Black Chins, and, uh... That should be enough to finish the task. Whatever shall I do? He got D's beard! Here we go. Okay, I froze him, now stand under. Oh, I, I did it too soon! Oh. If he's frozen long enough, I think I can log out under him. Come on. Come on! Come on! <laughs> and that, my friends, is why you bring a Zamorak God Sword to the wilderness. Alright, there is my Aviancy's task completed. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing an Ancient Staff right now. Towards the end of this trip, I started using Blood Barrage on the minions. Shout out to Aloha, uh, the streamer. I kind of saw the, him doing this method, so I tried it. If I can finish this kill, I'll show you how the method works, but... Uh, Alright, there is a full task of Aviancy's done. We got up to 58 Kriara kill count. Unfortunately, no drops. So I went to get a new task, and I realized that I still don't have the Jad tasks unlocked, so I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Not only is it good XP, I think you get 25k XP every time you kill Jad, but also it gives you a really good chance of getting a pet. I think doing it on task like doubles your pet drop rate, so I'll go ahead and buy that. Um, I probably should extend some other stuff as well, like... All these tasks are amazing XP, so... Yeah, I'll think about it later. Let's get a new task. Dark Beasts, very nice. I do need a Dark Bow still, so I will do that. Holy shit! I just got a Curved Bone from a Dark Beast. I forget the exact drop rate on this, but... I think Curved Bones are like 1 out of 4k, so... Oh no. All I wanted was a Dark Bow. I think this is my fifth Curved Bone. I've had one from Bandos, two from Shamans, now from Dark Beasts, like... I got good, bad RNG. <laughs> I, like, triple-clicked on my, uh, my play button. I was so excited. There we go. There is the Dark Bow. Uh, really quick, I want to check my Dark Beast kill count. So, Dark Bow really doesn't have much of a use for Iron Men. I mean, you can use it at, like, Zora, but it's not needed. It's just a nice thing to have in the bank. It's a bit of a collector's item. So let's see how many Dark Beasts we have killed. 574. I think Dark Bows are 1 out of 512. So just slightly over the drop rate. Nice. Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Hopefully this episode all made you happy because last video, a lot of you guys complained that I showed so many clues but I didn't get the boots. Well, on this episode we did get that luck and we got the ranger boots and made ourselves some pegasians. Of course, right at the end of the episode as well, I grabbed this beautiful dark bow. So, really fun episode overall. Had a great time making it. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing the Santa hat right now. I think this video should be uploaded the day of Christmas Eve, so... Uh, if you do celebrate it, Merry Christmas. Hopefully you got the notification for this video on your phone, and while your creepy Uncle Larry was trying to grope you, you snuck away and watched this video. God bless. All right, let's go ahead and take pet fight. Uh, so Yana would whip its ass, just saying. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at my bank value real quick. Uh, according to OS Buddy, my current bank is 590 mil. Now, this is a lie. I don't understand. Whenever I go to record these outros, it's less. Now, that sounds like I'm making excuses, but I swear. I'll check it in the middle of the day, and my bank will be 660 mil. OS Buddy, why do you make me look poor for videos? What the hell? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's because I have a Sarah Hilton. I have no idea. Guys, thank you very much for tuning into the video today. 
Hope you all did enjoy it. Again, if you celebrate it, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you all later.